As usual, I wanted to take a Pokemon and translate it into Mutants and Masterminds, and Whitney's Milk Tank randomly came to my mind. For those of you unfamiliar with Pokemon, it's well known for being difficult, so I decided to give her a shot. Her motivation is going to be dutifully serving her master, Whitney. Her complication is going to be a weakness to fighting types. Now, in Mutants and Masterminds, I would consider a fighting type attack to be an attack using martial arts, an unarmed attack from an opponent with a fighting stat of 10 or higher, or an attack with aura, key, or chi somewhere in its descriptor. Normally, I like to take the base stats of a Pokémon and knock the last digit off the number corresponding with the most appropriate stat, but since we're working with a specific mill tank, I looked up its level and ran the numbers in Psypoke's stat calculator. Then I knocked the last digits off those numbers instead. With any mill tank, defense should be prioritized, followed by agility, then strength. Normally, I like to have fighting up fairly high, but it's especially warranted in this case. A gym leader's most famous choice is going to be experienced in battle. Intelligence for Pokémon I normally leave at zero, but that's because I assume they're acting on their own. Whitney's mill tank obviously isn't. A trainer's Pokémon doesn't have to be smart, that's what the trainer is for. Negative one. Pokémon are assumed to come with four moves and an ability, but there are also some things that are just normally not accounted for in Pokémon that are accounted for in Mutants and Masterminds, such as its diminutive height and the fact she can understand humans without being able to speak like them herself. As for moves, I chose the move set from its original appearance in Pokémon Gold and Silver. Whitney's Miltank has Stomp, which comes with the additional effect of causing the surprise condition, the closest thing in Mutants and Masterminds has to Pokémon's flinch. You'll also notice the modifier Effects Incorporeal here. According to Bulbapedia, Whitney's Miltank has the ability Scrappy, which does precisely this. Milk Drink. Looking at animations for this move in the games leads me to believe that this is done by storing Miltank's milk in bottles beforehand and consuming later. A rather awkward way to heal the team, but as they say, beggars can't be cho choosers. Rollout. It's supposed to increase in damage each time it successfully hits somebody the previous turn, but I'm only increasing its power once, just enough to make it a viable alternative to Stomp. Now, if your GM allows, you could change the definition of cumulative to make something that accumulates power each time it's used, just to be dedicated to the move for the next few turns or have a teammate on standby to stop you. Attract. I seriously considered just giving Whitney's mill tank an expertise in seduction with the appropriate limit. However, I felt mind control would get the desired result better. Those of you familiar with me working on Pokemon know that I typically put in expertise in survival, but since this is a trainer's Pokemon, I decided to replace that with perception. It's been domesticated, and it needs this to understand what the trainer is referring to on the battlefield. As for the advantage takedown, I did that as a favor for Whitney's mill tank. Those of us who get stuck using rollout typically want it to end as soon as it can so that we can have our other options back, and takedown permits multiple foes to be hit in one turn, so speeding that up. Your contacts and connections are obviously Whitney herself, possibly her other Pokemon. Using Whitney's mill tank as a player character is an unusual idea as trainers and Pokemon typically work together though it is not unthinkable for Pokémon to be sent to complete objectives for their trainers. As always, I do hope to hear of other scenarios where you can apply this.